Hello, we have a mail in from the States. Yeah, and this is the board. It's completely snapped off on this bottom section. No! So we're gonna run a board swap on this and try to recover data. Let's get started by removing this uh, shield that hides the CPU, RAM, and UFS. All right, let's get this board in the fixture and we'll start by cleaning underfill around these two chips. 240 degrees Celsius and 50 airflow. All right, we can go right ahead and remove these. So for removal, we'll go to 360 degrees Celsius and we'll leave it at 50 airflow. And we'll start just by preheating preheat the entire board, and then we'll focus heat and remove both the chips. All right, all three chips are removed. Let's start cleaning them up. All right, CPU is reballed onto RAM. RAM is reballed, and last one, UFS chip. All right, that chip is reballed. So we have our three chips reballed. We have a donor board here. This is previously prepped for a board swap. It has the CPU and RAM and UFS removed. So we can go ahead and install our customer chips directly onto this board. Alright, make sure there's no foreign objects and everything's clean. Check the CPU side. Alright, so we'll put some flux on the board. Alright, we're gonna install at 330 degrees Celsius and we're gonna start with the airflow at a uh, low amount 35. Alright, so CPU is installed. Now we'll install the RAM. Align the RAM, make sure it's perfectly lined up with CPU. And we'll start with airflow low again. And increase airflow to complete the installation. Looks good. All right, we have the CPU and the RAM installed. Now we will install the UFS chip and then we can test the phone. Nice. All three chips installed, CPU, RAM, UFS, on our donor board. All we do now is test the device and hope it turns on so that we can recover all the customer's data. All right, hooking it up to power and prompt to boot. So far, so good. We have the logo. Can we make it to the operating system? All right. Looks like we're in, and we can run a full data recovery. So we made it to the operating system. We could perform a full data recovery for this client. This is the original board. And housing must have been run over. Um, there are display IC components in this bottom section. Without that, we would have no image, even if it turned on. But according to the previous shop it was in at, it wouldn't even turn on at all. So we pulled the CPU, the RAM, and the UFS and transferred it to a donor board. And that gave us a path to data. If you learned something in today's video, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.